What's up, Trainiacs? Got my shades on in honor of just coming back from California. While I was down there, I was able to take a tour of the entire specialized head office. That place is so cool. They have a fireman's pole and a whole bunch of cool dogs. So, I'm gonna have a little flashback today and show you all around the specialized headquarters in Morgan Hill, California. Check it out. I've been with the company now for almost five years, so I started off running the wind tunnel. So essentially Jesse, who you guys have already met, I was in his role back, I started basically a year after the tunnel was built. Um, I did come and worked for the company as an intern for a couple weeks before that and did spend some time in the tunnel just as it was finished. So I spent about three years over there working aer aero R&D, working on our applied technologies team. And as that team was building out, my career progression worked to the road team to be a product developer and ultimately a product manager. So I was a product manager for the new Shiv, um, as well as some of our other performance road bikes now. In Morgan Hill, there's maybe about 350 teammates. That number fluctuates depending on what's going on here, but obviously we're in more than 100 markets globally. So we have offices everywhere now in the world. This is the feed zone. It's a nice cafeteria that we have here for employees that kind of helps keep everything on campus. This is one of the exciting areas of the, the office that's open because it's just a big hallway of bicycles. This space down here is where we have SBCU. So SBCU is Specialized Bicycle Components University, which is something that we use as a resource for our retailers to come here to learn more about our product. Being a, a bike company, the lunch ride is a pretty important part of the day for everyone. There's a specific route for each day of the week, and depending on the route, there's different intensity and fun has always had with those. So it's a good time to step back from your desk, go ride with some coworkers, let out a little bit of steam and get ready and charge for the next half of the day. And uh, a lot of times on the bike, we're able to uh, still talk a little bit about work and that's when some, some new ideas pop up as people are just chatting through different stuff. But it's a really, really important part of the day and actually rolls right now. So 12.15 every day on the dot. When, uh, when a frame set's going to market, there's a number of paints, colors, graphics that won't ultimately make it to the retail yeah. floor and they're still routable frames so oftentimes employees can get their hands on them. So there's some, some unique stuff that you can see here, whether it's stuff that might have been in line or things that are customly done by uh, some of our employees that are very talented to, to paint. We're lucky that we have our own bike shop here. There's a village service course which is a, a service for all of our employees to either have some bike maintenance done or bike builds as well as they support a lot of our events uh, here in Morgan Hill or throughout the U.S. So it's basically just a small internal company, but people are usually encouraged to try and learn how to work on their own bikes. So there are either some clinics that we give sometimes or the village guys in there are more than happy to come out and explain some basic bike maintenance. So everything behind a lot of these walls is a lot of the secret sauce. So. This is a new area of the building that was all redone just about a year ago is when that started. So we built out a much larger machine shop area with a five axis CNC router that's massive, okay. really impressive. There's a, a 3D printing room. We have a pretty significant amount of 3D printing machines that again allow us to prototype quickly. So even in the tunnel, we can prototype a shape quickly here, make an iteration overnight and then print again and test the next day. So it's really evolving the, the way that we design and develop product. Upstairs is all the mountain bike development core or active. Our entire industrial design team with colors and graphics and then everything for equipment is over on that end. So shoes, apparel, helmets. This area kind of always evolves throughout the year. There's, we call it the catwalk gallery. So it's either some art from someone locally or some campaign that they shot, so some stuff that was done before the holidays of last year, which is cool because it's just always changing. A lot of the space is a lot of Robert Eggers concept bikes. So, hey Sarah, how's it going? A lot of the work that Robert's done for the brand has been very impactful. You know, he's been with the, the brand for a long time now and he has the, the liberty of getting to spend some time on some crazy ideas that ultimately can lend themselves towards some product development. And these are a lot of his fun concepts from over the years. And a nice thing in this building, as you've probably noticed, is all the conference rooms are athlete names. Have you guys had a chance to walk around the museum downstairs? You gotta take the fire pole though. The one stipulation, 
My favorite types. That made the day. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. That's the goal. Um, so this museum as well always is constantly changing and evolving depending on some of the most recent success that we've had as a brand. But a lot of it shows a lineage with different parts of the, the brand specifically. So um, Arrow is a big piece of the company now. So you can see there's some emphasis put on the evolution of Arrow within our product. If we go to the back corner over here, it kind of kicks off where the company started 40, about 45 years ago now with uh, Mike's original bike that he rode up and down to different shops asking what special components they wanted that he would import from Italy. So there were definitely humble beginnings for the company. They started up in South San Jose and moved down here and actually the first office was where the wind tunnel is now um, before they shifted to this building. So initially Mike imported selected components from, from Italy So because he saw that there was a big gap in a lot of the quality parts that were over there that were not in the U.S. yet. And that evolution with uh, understanding what's quality and, and specialized turned into his development in tires moving forward with bicycles and other equipment. Apparel photo shoots are much different these days. A little less uh, exposure. Uh, these are the actual bikes of whatever they're noted as. So the company has uh, lineage in racing and a lot of times when there's important races that are won on a bicycle, we try to get them back. Like you see Peter Scum's three world championship winning bikes over there, and these are the actual bikes that were raced by these athletes. Some of them are specific to a specific race, or a win, or just a moment in time. Very interesting thinking about some of these bikes and how much different things are today and how lucky we are. What's the pet policy? You can have a pet as long as it's not disrupting other pets. So that's it, Trainiacs. That is the specialized headquarters office. That like walk and talk is what it's called in the business at the start of this video was shot by yours truly and NTK. We're so official here. All right, if you aren't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button below because we're getting more and more opportunities to go to head offices and places like that. It's pretty cool. Head offices. Head offices, what do you mean? Why is that so funny? Oh, so our head office is our garage. So serious. Later. Can you say later? Later.